Hello there. I am super excited to share with you something that just came out. It's hot off the presses and I can't wait to show you. It is Google Scheduler. They just unleashed this. It is contending with companies like Calendly, uh, where you can go and um, send people a link. They can schedule a, a, a meeting with you and it'll instantly import into your Google Calendar. So if you're like me uh, and use Google Calendar all the time, this is going to be a game changer. And I just, um, I wanna go ahead and jump right into this and I'm gonna share my screen. Oops. That is the wrong window. There we go. Okay. So here we go. If you uh, just go to your home screen and then go into the four dots in the upper right corner, obviously if you use calendar, calendar all the time, you're probably already aware of this and then jump into your calendar. And if you use your calendar on a regular basis, you're probably going to have this screen pop up saying scheduling just got easier. Now you can use appointment schedules to create one booking page at no charge so anyone can easily schedule time with you. So go ahead and see how it works. Automatic updates to avoid conflicts. People viewing your booking page only see your free, available, free availability that updates when other commitments are added to your calendar. Share your booking page easily. Grab a direct short link. Go ahead and walk, let you watch that little tutorial there to the booking page or embed it directly into your own website for easy access. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. Okay. Uh, more information to be prepared, customize the booking form to gather extra information from people at the time of booking. Add a starter appointment schedule to your calendar to get a booking page to test out. You can change or delete it whenever you want. Try a sample schedule. So here we go. <clears throat> Edit, delete, or open your appointment schedule's booking page from here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Open it in, new, in a new uh, tab. Google meeting, video conferencing, booking form, yada, yada. Okay, here we go. So this is it. So as you can see here, it already defaulted to nine to five, uh, removing Saturday and Sunday. And if you already have something on your calendar, like this and this, it will automatically remove those times from your calendar so that people cannot book over something that you've already put on your Google Calendar. And you can go in and customize this if you want to. And I'm just gonna walk you through, if you don't have that window pop up on your, <laughs> in front of you when you go to your Google Calendar, you can also go to this little, plus sign button that says create in the upper left corner and then appointment schedule create a shareable page that lets people book a time with you so click on that and that will also take you to this page and here you can go in and customize this and like i said it uh, defaulted to uh, nine to five monday through friday and it defaulted to one hour if you wanted to you can change this to half an hour 15 minutes 30 minutes. So the denominations are 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, 1.5 hours, two hours, or custom. So I'm just going to go ahead and change everything to half an hour. Scheduling window, 60 days in advance. And let's see, available now, minimum time before, before the appointments start that you can be booked. I like to make this, I know, I don't know about you, but I like to have 24 hours advance notice just in case I do, do not have um, that availability if I'm, you know, living my life, going, running errands and whatnot. So I like uh, a day's notice. So I'm going to change it to that. And then you can change your availability here if you wanted to. <laughs> No, you can change it so you have a buffer time. So if you wanted to, 
you can have a buffer time. I'm going to go ahead and put a buffer time of 15 minutes because sometimes, you know, people talk a little bit longer than, than they, you know, than you're expecting. So I like to have a little buffer there in between meetings. So I'm going to go ahead and put 15. Maximum bookings per day. I'm not going to change that. And then you can even change the color. So I'm going to make this. Yeah, I like that color. That's cool. Okay. All right. So there we go. Boom. We can add a title. So you can say, um, book your strategy session now. Uh, get rid of that. Your strategy session. There we go. And I'm going to say you can put a, any description here you want to. You can even put uh, you can even put a photo up here if you wanted to really customize it. Um, a location if you're meeting in person. How and where we're going to meet. Um, the only thing this this does not do it is it's not really um, integrated with Zoom as I like to use, it's integrated with Google Meet because that's a Google product. They want you to use their Google products, right? So they're not gonna put that here, but I can go in and put none or specified later, or just to be on the safe side, I could say phone call just to make sure that I get their phone number when they book an appointment. And I can always uh, you know, text them, uh, communicate with them in some way. And here's the really cool part. You can add the Zoom link here. So you can have your personal Zoom room link in the description, and that can automatically default in the description when somebody books an appointment. So you don't have to go into your Zoom and set up an appointment. They'll just automatically be able to connect with you through your Zoom meeting uh, right away without you having to go back and forth with them. So that's going to save you a little bit of uh, trouble <laughs> and time um, trying to communicate that to the person booking the meeting. Then you can customize the booking form. First name, last name, email, phone. Oh, here we go. Okay. So yes, I like all of those. I'm going to go ahead and add an item. I'm going to say um, topic of discussion mm -hmm. topic of discussion yeah okay i'm just going to put that for now i'm not going to require it i'm going to go ahead and add that item and then booking confirmation okay so i like that calendar invitation you and the person who made the appointment will get a, a confirmation email with a calendar invitation. Okay. So that, that way you and you and them will both receive that email, which is epic. Um, because one of the things that I like to do uh, prior to this <laughs> product uh, coming out is I used to go into uh, my Google calendar, create an event, publish the event, and then send them that link. So this saves all of that work. So I'm glad that Google is is listening to us and uh, and creating this awesome service. Okay, so I think that that is good. Oh, here we go. I'm going to say, um, book a one, two, one marketing oops, oops, strategy meeting with me to uh, figure out, you can put whatever, <laughs> figure out your next best step. There we go. Okay. So, okay. So now that I know that the, the phone number is required, I, I, don't, I don't have to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and go put in none or specified later. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, uh, you could put a Zoom link here, but I'm going to do that later. So I'm just going to say save. And there we go. And you can go in and change the settings at any time. So mm -hmm. 
It's creating a booking page. Okay, here we go. So this is my uh, scheduling page. Now it is in 30 minute increments. Anything on your calendar will be instantly removed from your availability here. You can go in and customize this, add the weekends if you wanted to, uh, add special dates where you can have uh, select, uh, select customized times. And there you go. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and click on see what others see. So when you send out your link, this is what people will see. Okay. So now I want to go back to the cal the um, my calendar, and as you can see here, it's trying to get you to upgrade. So if you wanted to create multiple types of uh, scheduling links, like maybe you want to have uh, book a introductory call, which is fifteen minutes, and then you want to add a, um, a coaching call with your clients. Uh, that's an hour or or an hour and a half or whatever whatever that time frame is, then you can create those individual scheduling links, which will show a, a different set of information on that page. But if you wanted to create multiple different types, then you're going to have to upgrade. Um, here it's uh, giving you the opportunity to get a 14 day trial. It, after that, it's uh, nine. Dollars ninety nine cents a month, which is pretty dang competitive. Um, I believe that Calendly is like fifteen bucks a month. Uh, there might be some out there that are cheaper, but um, all in all, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good rate, and uh, that gives you a lot more uh, options. Gives you more storage, yada yada yada. I'm going to go ahead and just get out of that for now, and. Let me see here. So on my regular calendar page, it shows these appointment times. So you can just also get to your scheduling page there. And then you can also say share. And, th and that's where it's going to give you a shortened link. Okay. So you can go copy link, or you can even embed this in your website, which I'm super excited about. So um, I'm probably going to go in and add that, and I might even get, <laughs> I might even do another video once I start doing that to show you how you can add that to your to your website. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and copy link, and done, because otherwise. <laughs> If you're if you're going to be sending this out, this is the big long string of numbers and letters that you're going to have to send out to somebody. So it's really good to have that shortened link. Um, you can also use a URL shortener if you want to. In fact, that might be a good workaround because um, instead of upgrading, so you can have different types of uh, scheduling pages, you can also just have different names. <laughs> which I'll go to the same scheduling link. Um, and then if you use a URL shortener that has tracking, that's another way that you can tell where people are coming from and how many, how many people are using that link. So um, you can do something like bit.ly or tiny URL or, or some other service like that uh, to, to change and customize the name of it. So you can say uh, tiny URL uh, forward slash um, Latara strategy session or um, uh, tiny or, or bit bit.ly forward slash um, Latara coaching call or something like that, just so you can differentiate the different things without having to set up more than one scheduling page, if that makes sense. So um, I hope this has been helpful. I'm super excited to jump into this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of different links into the, into the chat or into the, um, the comments or the description of this video. Um, so you can go ahead and play around with that. Um, let me see here. 
da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. Okay, so these are a couple of different um, places that resources that you can go to to find out more about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this link in the description, and this will walk you through step by step creating an appointment schedule. Where to go to find it, how to set it up, all of the different ways you can customize it, editing it, editing reminder emails, setting up notifications, and then how to share your appointment schedule, share the link, embed code, yada, yada. So there we go. So I'm going to give you all of that information so you can go in and uh, play around with this and set up your own scheduling page and uh, start integrating it, <laughs> all of your meetings with, with Google, because uh, I don't know about you, but when I first set up Calendly, I had some issues um, making sure that they talk to each other so that I don't get um, scheduling conflicts. So this is really a game changer. It's going to make your scheduling process so much easier, so much more effective. Uh, a lot less people are probably going to fall through the cracks as a result of this. So I highly recommend this. Uh, I, I highly re recommend all Google products because, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a Google fan, but I know there's people out there that aren't, um, you know, they like to use um, Outlook, and Microsoft 360 and all that. So it's your personal preference. But if you're watching this video, you probably like Google and you probably use Google Calendar. And so this is a this is another way to level up in, in your um, time management and um, make your business so much more scalable and effective. So thank you for watching and have a great day.